Hi guys! So today I'm going to share some of my fall favorites with you and this is a tag video technically um, but I wasn't tagged to do it but I'm gonna do it anyways because I just don't care. Um, but if you don't know what a tag video is, it is a style of video that went around on YouTube and it was really popular in the beauty community like two or three years ago and you would like there's like a list of questions and you'd like answer the questions and there was like all sorts of themed tag videos and then at the end of your video you'd be like I tag so and so and so and so and then they would have to do it and then they tag people but I don't like that because then if somebody wants to do it and they didn't get tagged then they feel like they can't do it but you can it's okay because nobody tagged me and here I am doing this video just for you guys so today we're doing the fall favorites tag and yeah, let's just go ahead and jump on in. So the first question is, what is your favorite fall candle? My favorite fall candle, I am so typical. And everybody and their mom knows about this candle, or at least it feels like it. Um, but it is the Bath & Body Works Leaves candle, and it only comes out at this time of year. And if you have not smelled this candle, you're missing out on life. Like, it is literally the definition of fall. Like you smell this candle and you're like, oh my gosh, fall. I'm not even supposed to burn candles in my room, but I do anyway. No, I've loved it for years. Ever since I heard um, Elle from Glitter Clot, Glitter Got, no, what is her name? Elle from All That Glitters 21 on YouTube talked about it like five or six years ago. And I was like, leaves, like that's the weirdest sounding name ever. But then I went and smelled it at Bath and Body Works and it's just like, life-changing number two is what is your favorite lip color for fall and my favorite fall lip color is the one that I have on right now and it is the lip pencil from Mac in the color strip down I don't know if this is gonna focus like I wear like darker plum vampy colors in the fall too but I like to wear those more when it gets like really cold like November December that's when I start to wear those more and I wear more like brownie nude type colors in the fall um, or more like mauve type colors um, but this is one of my favorite ones it was actually inspired by not the color itself but I was inspired to get it from Kylie Jenner because she does her whole like nude matte lip thing and she started out with more of a mauve nude and now she's wearing more of a brown nude and I was like I can dig that so I went and found this one from MAC I don't know what the color she uses is but I really 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 like this one so if you're looking for something that's kind of like like matte, brown, um, not really pink, um, this is a really good one and I highly recommend it. If you don't like lip, li lip liners, another good lipstick choice that's kind of similar, it's not as dark of a brown but it's still a good nude, is the color 650 Nude Embrace from Maybelline. It's a matte lipstick and it's just like this really pretty matte nude color literally it's like this color of people's skin if you're super tan and so is this like people probably could use this as an eyebrow pencil also um but i put it on my lips and that's how i roll number three is favorite fall drink and you probably are expecting me to come out and say that i like pumpkin spice lattes which i do but i'd have to say my favorite fall drink is either um apple cider which I love anything apples like if you knew me personally you'd be like yeah Emily and apples anything apples really I've also recently started liking the toasted graham latte from Starbucks I tried one of those the other day and it was just super yummy it tastes just like a graham cracker and it's just a little nice mix-up from getting the regular pumpkin spice latte in the fall time number four is supposed to be favorite fall blush but I don't wear blush like ever um, I only really wear it in the summertime and even then that's like a super rare occasion so I have a lot of blush and I just don't really wear it anymore it's just kind of a phase I don't know um, so I'm gonna share my favorite fall perfume for you because um, that's not a question on here and if anybody else is like me, I don't wear the same perfume year round. I kind of switch it up depending on the season. So right now I'm really into like deep, like musky floral scents, which is super weird for me because I've never been into floral scents. Um, but I just got this one when I was in New York and it is my favorite perfume right now. And it is so good. It's also new, so you can still go out and get it. And it's Marc Jacobs Decadence. Like, first of all, look at this packaging. How 
pretty is it? It's got a little tassel. It looks like a little purse. So cute. And it is just like, mm, it's good. It's really warm, kind of like a deep floral type scent going on. I'm really bad at like describing scents. I can usually just be like, man, that's really warm smelling. Like, and that's about it. But it does have some floral notes to it. Um, you can go look it up and like read all the different scent notes and stuff. But um, I've really, really, really been liking that perfume. So you guys should go and smell it. All right, so for number five, it's my favorite fall clothing pieces. And these are two new things that I just recently got and I wanted to show you, which is why I'm standing up. All right, so um, this first one is a romper that I got the other day and it is a long sleeved flannel romper. It's men's shirting inspired, which I love. Um, so I just have the sleeves cuffed and it's this nice like window pane um, design. And so it just buttons like almost all the way down to your crotch and then it's like collared and has a little drawstring in the middle and it is just super, super comfy. Um, so I cannot wait to wear this. I'll probably wear it all the time and y'all will be tired of seeing me in it, but I love this romper. Next is a suede skirt. I got this from Old Navy um, and it is just, oh, it's so good. It was such a good buy. Um, it's very nice quality. It's got double pockets on the front and it's just a little bit more of a higher waisted skirt, um, which is nice. And it's just a really pretty camel color for fall. All right, number six is my favorite question because I just love talking about it, but it's what's your favorite fall movie? And my favorite fall movie, hands down, along with everybody else and their mothers, is Hocus Pocus. I love Hocus Pocus. It's been my favorite since I was a little kid. Um, when I wasn't allowed to watch it on Disney Channel, which they don't even show it on Disney Channel anymore, but I watched it anyways because I'm a rebel, and now they show it on ABC Family, and it's been on the 13 nights of Halloween, or whatever they, they, 13 days of Halloween, or whatever they call it on ABC Family. It's been on there, like, almost every other day, and I think I've watched it three times. Yeah. Three times. It's my favorite. I need to just like bo go buy it on DVD or something so I have it for forever and eternity until they stop making DVD players because that'll happen eventually. Like, let's get real. But yeah, hands down, Hocus Pocus. I can't even think of any other movie that I like. Um, I don't have any other fall movie. Number seven, almost at six, <laughs> is my favorite fall TV show. Um, I don't watch TV, like, ever. Seriously, I don't watch TV. I usually just watch something random on Netflix, and I haven't watched Netflix in weeks. Um, when I do watch TV, it's, like, in between classes, like, in mid-morning, and so it's usually, I just put it on, like, the local stations, and I watch whatever talk show's on, so I watch a lot of, um, um, Kathy and Hoda on the Today Show, I watch a lot of Dr. Oz, a lot of The Doctors, a lot of The Chew with Clinton Kelly, um, a lot of Rachel Ray, um, I just like to watch a lot of talk shows because I'm 35. Whatever. Number eight is what is your favorite Thanksgiving food and this is like a pretty close tie. Um, I really love turkey. Um, my dad is the one that makes our turkey at home for Thanksgiving and we deep fry our turkey. I don't know if anybody else does that. Like where you put it in a fryer. Like no? Does anybody? Let me know. Do you do that? We do that. It's We've always done it. I don't like oven um, cooked turkeys. They're too dry. Deep fried turkeys are so much juicier and so much more delicious and uh, I freaking love it. I need to learn how because you know, sometime I might have to deep fry the turkey and I won't know how to deep fry it. I should learn that. It's a good skill to have. But tied really close with deep fried turkey is stuffing. I love stuffing. It's so good. So I would say stuffing or turkey. It's a mix up. It's a tie. And last but not least, number nine is favorite Halloween costume. And I am not dressing up this year, so I haven't even really thought about what to be for Halloween. Um, if I was anything for Halloween, which typically I like to do like really cool creative things, but also in the back of my mind, I don't like being something that people are like, 
what are you? And then I have to explain it and they're like, I don't know what that is. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> I like to be something that people know, but then at the same time, that's like super overdone. Um, but if I could be anything or like what I would like to be this year for Halloween is um, like a pop art comic book character. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I will put a picture in right here. And it's just like, you know, like with the dots, like the pop art, you know, I don't know, like, and that's just what you would be. You would just be like a comic book character. But I just think that makeup would be so much fun to do. Um, I wouldn't even know what you would wear. You could just wear like normal clothes, which is the cool part because then you can wear whatever you want. Um, or if I wanted to be something like, not cliche, but like, relevant to 2015 I would probably be the dress you know like the is it black and blue or is it white and gold that dress I would make one where half of me is black and blue and the other half is white and gold just cuz that's like it was such a big deal over something so stupid and yeah, I don't know I don't know I just think that'd be a really cool creative costume to do and the sorry girls who I will also link um, down below did a really awesome costume DIY for that and um, they did such a fantastic job so that's probably the tutorial I would follow if I were making the dress um, but I'm not it's okay we're gonna have a scary movie marathon instead because first of all why would I want to go out on Halloween when I number one can't eat any candy can't eat any food at a Halloween party um, and I'm a week out from my show so probably not the best idea all right, that is it for the fall favorites tag. I tag every single one of you. I'm gonna put the questions down below this video in the um, more info section and in the blog post. And I want you guys to copy paste those into a comment and answer them. I love hearing you guys' responses. Um, let's share all of our favorites because I'm obsessed with trying new things. So I want you to tell me so I can go out and try new things. All right, so that is it for this video. I will talk to you guys on Friday for Flex Friday. Um, it will be Halloween themed. Still don't know what I'm doing for that. So like, just be on the lookout. But <laughs> I will talk to you guys later. Bye.